here's an example of, of uh, when I edit my videos. I have to take all this, throw it in the timeline. There is nine hours of me coding. So ideally, I would like to say, take this nine hours of footage, cut it down to be 30 seconds long, and sync it to a certain kind of music. You would still have a human directing the storyline, but you would basically get the algorithm to do the grunt work of doing the actual cuts for you. So I think this is possible, but it's kind of impossible. So we're gonna see how far we can get in this video. Um... So there's already a lot of code that's written that can that can process videos. So I don't have to like reinvent the wheel. Pretty sure I'm gonna use FFmpeg. Honestly, I feel like looking at the source code will be very good. I think that's a good place to start. Man, C programming, it's been a while. What am I looking at right now? <laughs> this is what I get when I Google why CBCR. Discrete cosine transform. I'm doing the math for this right now, see if it makes sense. I've copied this code from the example, but what I'm doing is I'm changing some of the numbers to see if I understand what's going on. If I do zero, that's gonna be like a grayscale image. It's not a grayscale image. So I was actually generating video files through the, the code here, which was really, really awesome. The only problem is I tried to generate certain colors and I was not able to generate the colors that I was expecting. I'm Googling all these questions and 99% of the time, I don't find what I'm looking for. So that just means I need to do like 100 Google searches. Why do you guys even watch this channel? I am actually the biggest idiot. The problem was that I was using the wrong command line arguments. I was trying to convert the string mpeg1 into an integer and process it through the image. Um, let's try to create deep green. The red needs to be all the way down and the blue needs to be all the way down. So 16, 16. I should create green. Bro, bro. Ayo, day three. Got a ton of papers on the desk. It feels good. I've basically been looking at their functions on like open codec context, how they actually find the stream and how they find the decoder from the stream and all that stuff. And I've basically been writing my own little version of this. Yesterday we, we made so much progress with the clip. Now we're actually able to get the packets from a clip given a start and an end point. That means I could take those packets, I could decode them if I want, I could start doing processing on them. We wrote a thousand lines of code in the past few days. All right, we're gonna see if this blows up or goes horribly wrong. Look at this, write sequence to output file. No streams to mux were specified. The first frame is kind of there, but it looks super messed up. Look at it. We export more than a few frames and it actually, um, it actually works. It's glitchy, it's so glitchy. <laughs> Whoa. Look at that. So I've spent the last week basically building up all the data structures that would allow me to make cuts and splice them together into a sequence, right? So essentially now I have the basic building block that every other algorithm will build on top of. Finally, we, we're gonna start 
writing the algorithm now. This is going to be the first demo where we take a bunch of clips. I think what we're going to do is the user says, here's a directory with a bunch of videos in it. I want you to randomly edit these videos together. So. Okay, so we've lost a lot of memory. <laughs> we scan a directory for all the videos and we put them in the sequence, one after the other. That's good, that's good. So I could show you my sheet of paper here. Can you see what's going on here? So look, we got our sequence here, right? Now we gotta like, we got all the clips laid out one after each other. Now we just gotta like randomly make a cut. Imagine editing a video for eight hours and then just seeing a guy beside you do boop and he's got the same edit. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> boop. <laughs> Oh, it's building it. Look, it's building the edit, man. Print sequence. Oh, it's building an edit for us. Cool. We should get a 10 second video out of, this is like random. Uh, it's basically just me like walking around with the camera, you know, and I'm like, oh, look, this clip. Sequence read frame cur node equals null. Well, I think I basically need to do this. Make it always point to the head. Oh, it's outputting the video. Audio, okay, so it's doing audio packets, video packet. Let's hit play. Let's see what our algorithm randomly <laughs> edited together. Oh, oh, oh. All this footage I shot January 2nd, January 3rd. Now we're gonna get our algorithm to edit this for because this is a bit more like this is me getting out and like doing things. Let's say 20. We're gonna do a quick edit. Oh, <laughs> if this is really a password, so okay. This so I bought folding video edit. Yeah, no, it's not, it's not really good for talking footage. What if we just take out the audio, we just mute the audio, and we overlay it with music? Will people be able to tell that it was edited by an algorithm and not by me? I know when I edit my videos, when I make those cuts to the music, I'll, I'll do them. I'll be like every 10 frames or something, I'll do a cut. So that's what I told the algorithm here. I told the algorithm, yo, each cut is gonna be on average 13 frames, but it can vary up to 10. So it could be three frames or it could be like 20. What if I said like 40 seconds of just, okay, let's do it. Let's let's see what's possible here. Um, it doesn't look as bad as I thought. Once you remove the audio, remove the audio. Oh, we're done. Okay, let's watch it with sound, I guess. Oh, it's, it's got a lot of me talking in it. This is gonna be really awkward. Start putting my wall. I <laughs> Third here. I don't miss my home. Look at all my clothes. Everything is trash. He's got it. Let's hope. The only way. I hope it's gonna. Dude, that doesn't look too Fine. bad. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Let's put it to music. Let's. Honestly, that was, it's not as bad as I thought. Like, it's actually kind of watchable. What is annoying is that every frame is roughly like the same length. So we could, you could we could probably play around with the variety of that. You know, maybe I only use like six seconds of that. But if I use six seconds of that in a bigger video, that would actually work. Do you know what I mean? And that's like, that would probably, that would literally save me like an hour of going through that footage and cutting that down just by randomly, dude, 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 dude. Dude, dude. Obviously, this is not like a solution. This is this is just experimental work where I'm just like seeing what's possible, 
This is actually, actually a perfect way for me to learn video processing. I'm just trying to learn how all this stuff works. You guys can view the source code. However, there's really no documentation. Uh, I haven't had time to like fully test it, so I don't recommend trying to run it, and I don't recommend trying to like download it. I'm gonna fix it up and keep working on it. I have so many ideas for other algorithms I could actually code up and just see what what the outcome is. If you guys wanna support me, sub to this channel, subscribe, and uh, also check out my Patreon. That would be super cool and super helpful. Links are all in the description. Um, Thank you.